Well, you know, it's probably mo the most recognizable vehicle out on the roads these days, and it's in Kansas City this weekend. Yeah, it always turns head when you see it drive by, but as KMBC 9's Alan Shope tells us, this week it's got a local flavor. We like to say we haul buns. A quick peek under the hood. Kind of surprised me how much people truly love this vehicle. A quick check of tire pressure. And Kansas City native Rosie Hutchison is ready to hit the road. <laughs> in the most unique thing on six wheels. We travel with the Wienermobile all year long, all over the country. The St. Therese High School and Missouri graduate applied for the job in college. The most special thing is the reaction we get when we're driving. We're on State Line Ward Parkway this morning and people were just going nuts. Yep, it's a pretty impressive sight. We get a lot of excited honks, a lot of waves. It's a year long ride for Rosie that will see her log nearly 50,000 miles. Got to drive the Wienermobile in New York City, parallel parked it in Manhattan. That was that was wild. The Wiener Mobile debuted in 1936, and there are currently six of them that handle pretty well. Smoother than ketchup. Come June, Rosie will hop out of the driver's seat, but says it will be a tough chair to leave. I drove my mom's minivan yesterday, and it was impossible to park. So this is this is the car for me. It's just really nostalgic. It makes people think of their childhood. And when you get to drive it, we relish every moment we get with the Wiener Mobile. Reporting in Kansas City, Alan Shield, KBC 9 News. Oh, I'm getting a little hungry now. The Oscar Mayer Wintermobile is in Kansas City for this weekend's St. Patrick's Day Parade.